Hey, what's up guys? This is Scott with uh, Bassaholics Fishing. I'm here at the beautiful New River after a very unsuccessful day of fishing. Uh, but this morning on the way here, I thought about uh, one thing that I've been wanting to do for the channel, and that is to um, do a quick review of a trailer that me and my wife bought this past uh, summer. Um, our family's real big into kayaking, so uh, I've got a kayak, wife has one, two of our three children have one, and the third will get his probably this summer. Uh, but uh, once we got into it, we really got tired of loading them into the back of my truck, and uh, you know, talked to the, the wife, and, and we thought it would be best if we just went ahead and purchased a dedicated kayak trailer, because we go just about every weekend of the month. Um, and I just didn't want any kayak trailer. Uh, like I said, I do a lot of a lot of fishing, and uh, and like I said, and then we go in big groups where we normally have my whole family plus four or five friends, and some of those friends also do not have means of carrying a kayak, but they love going kayaking with us. So after some research and looking on online, we settled on a company that probably, in my opinion, makes some of the best kayak trailers I've ever seen or uh or or looked at uh and just as a disclaimer i am in no way paid to write this review um and they did not ask me to write a review uh like i said i just want i thought it would be best uh to put this out there just because i have thoroughly enjoyed the uh six or seven months that we've had the trailer uh so like i said i think you guys would benefit from it as well so uh, without further ado, this is our 2022 On The Water Innovations uh, kayak trailer. This is called the Turney Double. Um, so as you can see, it uh, it is a dedicated kayak trailer. It's not for John boats or it's not a trailer that's uh, a regular trailer that's been converted from a you know from just like a utility trailer. This is purpose built, custom built to your options and specifications that you that you desire uh denny romero over on the on the water uh is a is a veteran uh and he started this company here so uh and, and like i said this is by far one of the best you know kayak trailers i've ever seen so what i want to do is kind of i want to start at the front and just kind of go over some of the features and just kind of let you guys uh you know, see what you think about the trailer and just remember uh, just like i said this is how i option the trailer um, you can get it as basic as you need it or you can get it as loaded as you need it um, so again this is how i optioned it. Um, it you know if i was going to spend that kind of money on a trailer i wanted it kind of almost exactly how i wanted it within the you know budget constraints so like i said if i start at the front you can see that this whole trailer has been powder coated this is not just normal paint it is a powder coated trailer um, and I do have the seven pin option here so you can see that it uh, like I said it connects up to the seven pin with the control box here um, like I said very very nice welds you can I don't know if I can get up close to them here but you can see the welds are fantastic and he just he CNC cuts a lot of his parts uh, these are just not ones that you you know buy off the shelf. It's all stainless hardware, or at least 99% of the the hardware on the trailer is is like that um, on everything. Uh, you can see he's custom built. Um, one of the options that I have is a spare tire carrier. Uh, you can get it loose or you can get it mounted. So I got it mounted. So I don't know if the shadows are there, but you can see that's a, a total custom mount for that. Um, another option that we opted for was the 37 inch DZ toolbox for storage. So if I open that, you can see it's got quite a bit of stuff in here. Got my boots and my life jacket, um, the safety cords, actually I need to get one out uh, now so that I can put it on the kayak. Um, and then a you know, tray and just like I said, all kinds of, all kinds of stuff in here. It's kind of a mess right now, but it's a fishing kayak trailer. So, uh, but this is an option that we added. Um, it is on the, on the, on the option sheet to, to have one of these, um, cause we get tired of putting stuff in the back of the truck. So, um, if I go down the trailer as well, 
Um, another option that we added was the toy lock. So this way, if we go in somewhere after a long day of kayaking, we can lock all of our kayaks up by running this, say, through one of the handles on the kayak, like so. You just, like I said, run it, run it around through itself. And uh, you can just keep going. I mean, it's pretty long. I'm, it's 15 foot long, so um, I'm not gonna get that out. But uh, another option that we have is the rod tube. So you've got an eight foot rod tube, uh, I believe it's eight foot, and it's uh, eight inches in diameter with a lockable cap on the end. And on the tourney double, the bottom kayaks are held on with um, a pair of parallel rails, uh, round rails. Let me go to the other side so you can actually see them here. So you can see here that, and these are fully adjustable. So there is all kinds of bolt holes here to adjust this to the kayak um, to get it going down to the gunnels of your kayak so that it's custom fit to yours. Um, so you adjust them in the front and you can adjust them in the back. Uh, one of the other options we also opted for were the aluminum wheels. Uh, they do, he does carry them in steel wheels if you just you want to cut costs. But again, if we were going to buy a trailer, we wanted to get exactly what we wanted. One of the options I don't have mounted on here that we opted for were the um, removable T-bars. So I have a post here, and then there's a post here in the back as well, but you're going to notice there's a post here. So when I originally ordered this trailer, this middle post was not here. And what ended up happening was once I got the kayak trailer home and I tried to fit my children's kayaks on the top, that's what these T-bars are for, uh, once I tried to fit them on the top, they wouldn't fit. Uh, the, my children have, you know, they're like nine and a half foot kayaks. And the span was way too great from that one to that one. So I contacted Denny and then within a week, he had me a modification of just a little bolt on upright post that is now adjustable. So I can move this front back wherever I need it to go in order to fit whatever kayak I'm trying to fit. So I am very happy with this modification. It just like I said, it was just four bolts and it bolted right on. Um, so that's one of the options that we also got. Uh, the other option we have is we have the uh, rigging lights. So there's one of these on each side. And let me go to the other side here. So on the other side, right here, there is a button that uh, I've got to have my lights on in the truck. Just one second. So if I turn the lights on in the truck, so if I'm doing some night fishing or what have you, I can click that button right there. And these rigging lights right here would light up the entire deck on both kayaks. They are very bright and on top of that, those rigging lights also are in the toolbox. There's one up underneath here. So again, if you're in the dark, you can see. So those were options. I've seen some of these tourney doubles have dual. They'll have one here and one here. Um, again, we just opted for the single. Uh, so another option that we've also gotten is the built-in ratchet straps. Normally I'm not a fan of ratchet straps. I, I usually just use NRS straps, but I really like these. I try to watch how tight I tighten them, but it is very nice to just be able to release this and the weight, the little system he has is just a, you can see here, we just hang that up there. And that's how, you know, whenever the trailer's parked, it's like that. When I'm ready to ratchet it down, I just grab this, I grab this and just give it a, a couple of ratchets one two three and we're tight um again you can see we also opted for the uh, aluminum wheels here and these are like very nice highway they're not no little rinky dink trailer tires these are heavy duty um trailer tires so they're not like something you're going to find on say a harbor freight trailer or something these you know i don't feel the trailer back there at all it's not hopping around it rides extremely smooth he's got this you know plastic um 
fender so if you, that makes it easy to replace it's just bolted on so if you know you're ever to get an accident it's very easy to replace the fender on it and the other thing i really like is that denny and his crew have also have there's metal reinforcement up under here so when you step here it's just not stepping on the plastic fender you actually do have metal reinforcement on the front and the back you do have to watch here a little bit but that's just i mean it's stiff but if you're about four, 400 pounds, I probably wouldn't stand on the fender. So you've got one ratchet strap front, or one, strap, one ratchet strap in the front, one in the back. All right. And the other options that we have um, uh, is the, the big reverse lights here. These are like LED bars pretty much. And they are super bright to be able to back up at night. So... Um, like I said, if you, I mean, you can see just the quality of craftsmanship with the welds. So if I get in here, I mean, these welds and stuff are super nice. Again, all stainless hardware and um, very just, I mean, just top notch. Um, all of the, the tubes have caps on the end. Um, you can see he's, you know, like for the trailer light here, it's just, uh, it's not enclosed. So there's no water getting trapped up in there. Um, I mean, what else? Like I said, I mean, for the most part, that's that's pretty much the whole trailer. Um, this trailer is designed to be able to back down into the water. So you can back it down and you can actually load it using the safety ropes because you have a very long safety rope. Um, so it's got all LED lights on it here. Um, like I said, extreme, extremely good quality lights. Very happy with them. Everything is super bright. You can see the side markers. You've got clear side markers that have amber LEDs. You can see them going down the road um, extremely well. Um, but overall, again, this this kayak trailer it's made it's made for four kayaks. We easily haul five to six on it because um, normally we have my wife's here, mine there. Uh, she has a feel free moken 12 and a half. I've got the feel free lure 11 and a half. Then we, on the top, when the T bars are installed. We normally have uh, to this side, we have another Mokin 12 and a half, which is my sister-in-law's when she goes with us. And then right beside hers, we double stack some um, feel free um, move, the, the feel free move kayaks, which are the, the kids kayaks. So I'll, I'll put a picture up here. I've got one of it loaded up. Um, you know. with the t-bars and everything so again we can haul and if we wanted to really get get a lot on here if we took the seats out of our kayaks we could have two kayaks here two kayaks here two kayaks here and then two kayaks there so we'd be able to hold quite a bit of kayaks in the event that we needed to um, most of the time though we, you know we leave our seats in so you know once it's there once it's here and then you've got the one and the two up top um but other than that i mean like i said that's that's the trailer i mean it's extremely well built we're extremely happy with it um it's provided us so far one summer of fun now going into we're in the winter and uh it's just been overall great i've had zero problems with it so like I said, uh, that's that's my review of an on the water innovations trailer. Um, like I said, Denny does fantastic work. Um, he's out in Ashboro, North Carolina. So if you want to get a quality trailer, one that's going to last you years and years, I highly recommend on the water innovations trailers. Um, and if you have any questions, you know, drop it in the comments, send an email, uh, what have you. Um, just reach out and uh, I can get you in touch with Denny and he can get you a, a build sheet um, and y'all can go over pricing and stuff because this pricing does change depending on material cost and things like that but from from start to finish the process was seamless um, I got my kayak very quickly or my kayak trailer very quickly so again we are very happy with the final product um, and uh, and like I said, uh, I would not hesitate to buy another one in the event that I needed one. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this answers some questions. Um, give a shout out, drop a comment. Thanks for watching.